I'm Catherine Wardrop. I'm 36 years old and I'm a botanical illustrator. I work at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Sydney and it's a fabulous workplace. I'm the botanical illustrator here and that basically means that I produce illustrations, scientific black and white illustrations in pen and ink, very clearly for the botanists who, when they describe a new species or rename a species, they have to publish a paper um, to describe it and um, they must include an illustration. We also have um, inquiries coming from outside the gardens now. Either the botanist or myself will go and get the box of specimens from the herbarium. The specimens come back here through quarantine and then they're frozen and dried to make sure there's no pests on them. Then they get stored as press specimens and that's often what we work from. And then I'll visit the botanist and they'll give me the brief, uh, as well as um, showing me the material, take me, taking me through the various aspects of it to make sure I understand. Occasionally a botanist will put some plant material in spirit, in alcohol, while they are out in the field and they come back in little jars and it's really good because their form is preserved. I then get all that information and come back to my room and I'll begin drawing. I can sometimes photocopy the pressed material and I trace that in pencil first uh, in order to get dimensions correct. I also use the microscope with a drawing tube attached, which basically means we can very clearly draw minute details on the plant from the press or the spirit material. The next step would be to make sure that all those things I have drawn are correct. That means returning to the botanist again and ensuring that the different features are illustrated the best way that they can be and without any mistakes and that I've interpreted the form correctly. After that, uh, then it's up to me to come back and use the computer then to scan each of the diagrams into the Photoshop and then transporting them over to Illustrator to design my plate. And I then proceed to ink on drafting film with my rotating pens. And then finally we take the um, image up to uh, design an editorial and then they will scan it and then put the paper in the publication to Lopia. I guess it always comes back to the ability of an artist to understand form and to know what form should be compared to what they're presented with. So to have a knowledge of um, how light works on form, um, how forms uh, appear as they turn in space, how things look when they're coming at you or, or um, going away. Knowing how to interpret that and it's up to the artist to do that very clearly and, and with no ambiguity. My co-worker and I are always really excited when the next tilopia comes out. You know, it's a scientific journal, but we're very excited. Uh, and we check to see, you know, whose illustrations got in and when we get something in the Singapore Bulletin or Missouri, um, Annals of Missouri, and um, even publications from Kew in London, that's nice too. When I was young, I always drew a detail and tone. Once I'd finished high school, I went on and did a four-year degree in printmaking in Canberra. I graduated with a portfolio that had a strong emphasis on flowers because I want to be employable and I heard that you could be employed drawing flowers if you were good enough. A uh, certain botanist told me about Newcastle where I went and did a graduate diploma in uh, plant and wildlife illustration and it just went from there. But you do have to be very good at drawing. You have to love detail. You have to be technically very skilled at, at being realistic in your image making. And I think you have to actually love nature as well. You really have to love your form and be amazed every time you look down a microscope. That's what makes a really good illustrator. If somebody was, to, was interested in, in following this career path, I would definitely say volunteer. Even if it's only one day a fortnight. We know people that work at the museum, universities, all over the place and London and um, get to know the botanists and they get to know your work. Well, that's certainly how I got my foot in the door. There is demand overseas. I certainly know that in, um, in London at Kew, they do a lot of work. There's work all over the world. There's California as well, um, Missouri Botanic Gardens. There, is, there are places everywhere. Love my job. <laughs> you know you're working for something that matters, which is the environment and documenting species that are rare and endangered. It all helps build the information that we need now to fight climate change as well. It's a good job. <laughs>